Season two, episode two of the Da Vinci Code. I had to bring Malcolm back on here again because I, I forgot I had an important, another important question to ask you. Ready, bro? Yeah. All right. What point of the relationship should you stop wearing condoms? Me personally, I said the first date, but he let it be like I was crazy. So what do you say? What point of the relationship you should start wearing condoms? Yeah. I guess I boil down to the individual, but the individual, you should be in a relationship with a whore. Think about that. That's a very good. You shouldn't, but somehow, sometimes it happens. You know, you be blinded. That's real. You you blinded by pussy sometimes. It does happen. You just get blinded by pussy. It does happen. You know about that. Um. You know, first dates nowadays still might be a little too risky, but I would say. You know that third or fourth trial. I mean, you should be able to. You so should be able to know by then. Since you got to go to church a lot. Yeah. No, I'd be worse than that. Everybody know. That. Everybody, yeah, everybody knows. Know. Everybody knows. Oh, oh headache thinking about that. <laughs> but yeah, I think the third or fourth time, I think you should, you should be well versed in in the ology of of that situation by then. But how enough I like the pussy. On the on the fourth try. I mean, the, the why, why? I mean, if well, I did the keep the first man on the first try after the first try. Yeah, but the first try should let me know for sure. Like, okay, this trash. That way, I won't waste three more stro- three more times. Like, that dick could be going somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. So then you know whether it's good enough that I can go back. That dick could be going somewhere else, though, bro. Like spread. I still got dick life. Like it could be going somewhere else right now. It's like a battery on the phone, bro. Very you wanna, if your shit on fifty percent, you want to use as much as possible. Yeah, that's a good point too. I don't even take phone calls and my shit go to 10%. Oh, fuck that. That shit be risky as fuck, bro. I don't do 20. <laughs> okay, so, so so you said about the third or fourth date. And then what, they break your heart, then what? Shit, there's more pussy out there you need to go knock You don't nigga that think like that. You got that like, why I do all niggas with guns? Oh, we gonna pull up on a crib and that boat? Yeah, exactly. See what I'm saying? Like, niggas die over that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas really die. You got niggas that go to Alabama for pussy. Yeah, that's crazy as fuck. Niggas really drive six, seven hours for some old box, bro. Crazy. Niggas is crazy. Niggas crazy. Is definitely, absolutely crazy. Who the fuck crazy. that in their right mind? <laughs> you hate to see it. Yeah, I don't. But, um, yeah. I think, um, in a crazy, if my. My crazy old school Duval nigga answer would be the, if the bitch break up me after having all that box, I'm not gonna do it every single day. Um, if I got the house number, I'm calling her because my mama loved me anyway. Yeah, I'm going and to mama. Push kind of shove, I'm gonna knock her mama down. Yeah. Wait, what? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because she, but she told you what she the did. The next available thing, and it's inside this crib, so. Oh, I just thought, I just got what he meant. Cut it off. This episode over. I just got what he meant.